Hi everybody, I am super excited to be here. I want to talk about a couple of things. I want to talk about full face highlight and contouring with just in a couple of minutes and I would like to talk about some illuminators. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Try and keep this video somewhat short and sweet. So I'm going to take my 30 second hack brush and dip that into my main color. And I'm gonna apply that all over my face and in my neck. I have a little bit of music going in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but it was kind of quiet in here today. So I decided to do something about that and have a little bit of music going. So a few of the great things about mascara's cream makeup is how super blendable it is. It becomes like a second skin on your face. So it doesn't sit on top of your skin or sit on top of our peach fuzz. It actually just, like I said, becomes a second skin. It goes on smooth. It lasts all day for absolutely any conditions. I personally get pretty sweaty at work with the job that I do and my makeup is still on point after 14 hours of getting sweaty and wearing either a surgical or an N95 mask all day. Um, with my old routine, oftentimes my mask would have more makeup on it <laughs> than my face by the end of the day. And with this mascara, cream makeup becoming my second skin, I don't have that issue. There's hardly anything on my mask to the point where my partner in the ambulance actually, actually accidentally picked up my surgical mask one time thinking it was his because it was completely clean and he was used to seeing makeup on my masks previous to mascara. So it also covers redness, age spots, and dark spots. It fills in your lines and creases to make them a little bit less noticeable as well. And that's all. <laughs> just a few things that I love about it. I'm also going to brighten the areas of my face that I wanna bring light to. I'm gonna flip my 30 second hack brush over and I'm gonna come in on my cheekbones because I wanna attract light to that area of my face and take away from some of the discoloration and dark circles I have under my eyes. I actually have like copper colored eyelids and uh, some dark circles underneath my eyes and this is the best thing I've ever found to hide that. So kind of right down the center of your face where you want to bring that light to your face is where you want to place this brightening or highlight color. Sometimes I just dip my finger in my color and bring it right down the center of my nose to bring light to the center of my nose and then when I contour it I'm going to come down the sides of my nose and it will reduce the appearance of the width of my nose. I put that contour color on my forehead to reduce the size and appearance of my large forehead. I create cheekbones with it and shadows, contour, dimension, and then I bring it along my jawline to chisel the end of my face, bring definition to my face, and then you'll also notice in my before and after pictures that it reduces the appearance of this chin I have going on here, so it's a lot easier than working out. So instead of using my um, contour color, I'm actually going to use Bella Bronzer. So in my palette, this is the Bella Bronzer. It almost looks like chocolate. It's super scary to think I'm gonna put that on my face, oh my gosh. But it blends out so well and so easily and it bronzes your face and makes it look like a natural sun-kiss glow. So I'm just gonna take that right along my forehead and I want to bring that up into my hairline. I am using, I believe, my Buffy brush for that. All of our brushes are super versatile, so whatever brush you find works the best for you, go with it. There's no clear cut, set in stone brush to apply any of your colors. Along my cheeks, I'm going to come in right on and just below my cheekbone from the corner of my eye to the top of my ear in an upward motion. And then the same thing on the other side. Kind of blend that just a little bit. And 
now just along your jawline here with your contour or your Bella bronzer. And then just drag that down your face a little bit. And what you're doing here is you're creating dimension to your face. You're creating contour. You're adding contrast. You know, we have all these lines and curves on our faces and instead of just having one flat, plain look, we're putting dimension and bringing light and uh, adding a glow. So then I'm gonna take my Perfector sponge. I'm just gonna show you the difference. My Perfector sponge is super well loved. This is what mine looks like. This is what a new one looks like. So highly, highly recommend these. Not all Perfector sponges are created equal. Um, there's, like I've said in previous videos, cheaper ones and more expensive ones. And these are by far uh, the best ones that I've found. They, they hold together longer. They're not porous. They don't um, start to crumble. I do damp it a little bit. And what this is doing is this is stippling my colors into my face, removing any excess color that my heavy hand might have left behind and just blending everything together for that flawless um, Photoshop almost kind of finish. Airbrushed, I guess would be a good word for that. And this is how you achieve that is with the cream colors and your perfector sponge. And then I'm just gonna use my finger to uh, contour the sides of my nose and I'm just gonna come right down the edge, just like that. It looks kind of scary, I know. Okay. And then I'm gonna come back in with my brightening color and just take that down the center of my nose. I wanna make sure I've got that, that brightness coming down the center that. Perfect. And then I'm just going to stipple that in. Perfect. And then I'm going to take, what color do I want to use on my cheeks today? Hmm. I think, well, well, you know what? No. I got Desert Sun the other day, so let's give Desert Sun a try. Let's see what that looks like on. And I'm gonna come right on top of my cheekbone, just above where I put the Bella bronzer for my contour in an upward motion. I actually like this, this is really pretty. So I can also use that same exact color on my lips a lot of mascara's products are dual purpose, so a lot of our contour colors can be used as lip liners and eyebrow colors, saving you money, saving you space. So that's wonderful in my book. So then I'm going to come in and I am going to uh, work on some of these bronzers. I'm so excited. Or uh, illuminators. So I've got powders and I've got creams. So we're just going to try a couple different ones in a couple different places and just kind of see what we think. So the first one I'm going to apply is going to be um, Photoshop. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle that on my face right here. Can you see a difference from one side to the other? I see a little bit more of a dewy look, a healthy skin glow type look with that. And then let's try Glow Illuminator on this side. And what this does is just add a warmth, a sun-kissed warmth. So can you see that? See? And then this side is more of a dewy shine. And then I can take my Photoshop Illuminator and come in over the top of that glow also. I like that a lot. Okay, and then 
I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, Tropicana, we'll just do Tropicana on my lips. I like that, very subtle, but very pretty. So that's it. So without my chit chatting and my talking, I just gave myself a complete makeover with the exception of my eyes in about five or six minutes and added some illuminators and some bronzers and I uh, have this complete look. So stay tuned for before and after picture of the complete look. I'm gonna end this video here and I'm going to um, do an eye video to show eye color application, eyebrows, things like that. So stay tuned, that video is coming soon.